Hello, welcome back to this field where I found the, uh, the seals. I found them down there, but I haven't done just this part. And then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do that other field that was. Meanwhile, this is what I've got to put up with, look. See that down there? Silver armour, eh? <laughs> Pewter button. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. They love finding, finding me out with these things. Nice button. In good nick, the pewter buttons around here. Mm, half of a very large um, horseshoe, cat horse. 1895, Widowhead Victoria. Bronze penny. Good one, nice, nice nick. Half penny. Can't be half penny, it's got to be a 5p. Yes, it's a 5p. I thought it was very low signal. Whoever I'm following along here has been ignoring signals this low. Yeah, watch Fob. Uh, you're into these, aren't you, Jackie? I'll put it on one side for you. Oh. Big shout out, Jet Ski John. <laughs> Got second place in uh, Cromwell's uh, competition for that SWAT sticker. Um, emblem he got. Nice one it was. Congrats John. Another Cupra Nickel 5 pence. Uh, whoever I'm following is definitely not digging up uh, anything below a 50. Even 55 which this was. A yeah, large button. Should be able to um, identify that when I clean it up. It's got writing on the inside there look. Oh, got me going again. I thought I was silver. And it's an Asda parking token <laughs> for the car park. Oh my goodness. That's not liable to be silver. Got a little rabbit behind me. Uh, I'm just going to point into the wind, see if I can get it. There you are. <laughs> it's not that far away. Now, um, I thought that was 1916, but it's uh, Edward VII, so it's got to be uh, 1910. Still, it's shoving 104 years old, is that coin? Either this is a very tiny pendant, or it's an earring. But it's old, my goodness. And, I don't think they're garnets, I think they're sapphires. Hope you can see that alright. Yes, nice one. Oh, time for a break. I fancy the other side of the valley, you know, over there. Uh, that looks good, does that? Probably won't be any uh, flax seals over there, but you never know, do you? Uh, it seems a bit richer than this little house, and if this little house had James too, I wonder what they've got. Anyway, I'm stopping for a bite to eat. A few bickies and a drinky pools. And we'll carry on in ten minutes. Oh, nice. Nice buckle, bronze buckle. Whoa. They scratched it there, shining brass. <laughs> Could be brass. Clouds have disappeared. That sun is getting bloody hot. Right. Uh, Quick view of the scenery. <laughs> and then uh, pure button. That's interesting, it's got that uh, concentric circles on it. Yeah. Ah, the compulsory iron ring. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the roundup. It's getting hard work. I think I've just about played that field out at Whistle House. <laughs> Still, stuff there, look. 
Um, bits of lead. <laughs> Washers. <laughs> All the salted types. Bit of um, large bronze, not sure what. And a copper pipe. I don't think this is um, one of them kids' toys. The Whirly Gig. Uh, it had four holes in luck. That. I don't know. See how it's broken into th three pieces. Uh, very thin, very brittle. Right, what do we go on to? We're going to buttons. <laughs> Things were pretty, <laughs> pretty meagre today. <laughs> buttons, 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 buttons. Still, I got two, four, six, eight, nine buttons. Uh, that's a very nice button. With the. Um, come on. Play ball. There you go. Nice. Nice indeed. And a <laughs> little watch fob. Now, I like these. I've never had one this big. This is big, big, big. And you all know what this is, but you don't. <laughs> it's off an umbrella. A parasol. And the, uh, the rod goes up there. And in these little slots are the wires that go out to the edge of the umbrella. This is a very large one. This, this was a, a parasol which they'd have out in the summer, I think, uh, when they were picnicking or having the lunch. Nice. The slidey bit on an umbrella. Um, what can I say? It's a buckle. <laughs> It's a nice buckle. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a, a better picture of that to, to put on the picture. Uh, come on. How can I get a picture which shows what you are? There you go. Right, coins. Five P's. <laughs> uh, I knew they couldn't be half P's because Half peas come in at about 85, 86. These were coming in at less than 50. And that is Edward Seven Penny. And here we have Queen Victoria Luck, 1895. Oops, turn him over. No, it's not going to show very well. Now this one, I, I saw the head of uh, George II on here, so I thought, oh, I'll clean it with the Brillo. Wrong! <laughs> I took everything off. <laughs> but it's George II, you're looking at about 1725-ish, uh, something like that. <laughs> now, <laughs> you want to try finding these. It's an ASDA parking token, and you go on the internet looking for them, and all you get are the green tokens now. Th this must be very old. Very, very old. Um, and you have to have these, and I'm not sure what coin that represented. Nowadays it was the pound coin, but uh, I've noticed a lot of supermarkets are stopping, uh, they not having you put money in the trolleys anymore. <laughs> you can get your trolley for free. It's all this competition. But yes, why not? That's a, that's a good use, that. Parking for Asda supermarket. Yes. Now, piste de resistance. It's tiny, but my goodness, it's a goodie. It is a goodie. That is better than your average. Tiny little bit of jewellery. It's got three stones, which I'm not sure if they're shining blue. One of the favourite stones was garnets, of course. 
But look, that, that stone's got a bluey tinge with it. I think the dark sapphires, dark blue sapphires. Um, not your normal bit of junk jewellery, this. Um, excellently made, look. Beautiful little thing. A lot of work gone into that. And it, it's strong. I mean, it's, there's no way it's going to lose that, that top bit. But... Uh, it is bronze, bronze with, well, precious stones. Look oh, where they gleam. Come on, get, come on, show me what colour you are. You see, it, I'm sure that's more bluey than red. But, yes. I like you. <laughs> you made my day. Nice. Very nice. I'll put you there like that. Then I'll turn you over. And we'll have a look at the other side. Then I'll stick the two together for a photograph. But look. No matter how meagre the day. There's always something out there. Go get it. <laughs> Till I see you later, you take care. Bye.